Hello everyone, Minecraft just released a new snapshot titled 23W12A and in this snapshot there's a lot of surprise features that we were told probably weren't going to happen. So let's go ahead and get into them right now starting with the calibrated skulk sensors. So you can now do frequency level stuff uh, with redstone. So as you can see uh, the skulk sensor here has this little purple thing with the amethyst crystal on it. It's basically a skulk sensor, but not. Uh, well, if you run a redstone input into the side, it takes that redstone level as a frequency level. So in this case, there's a frequency level of, I believe, 13. Let me double check that. Yes, this one is 13. This one is 15. And this one is 14. So for 13, it only registers block placing. As you can see, that's the only time it ever registers anything. Well, let's say if we get one for 12, so let's just quickly set one up here. Okay, so watch this. You break it, that's the only one that lights up. You place one, that's the only one that lights up. So now you can effectively have on and off buttons based on actions, which is really, really cool. There's a whole list of them. It's linked in the description just below the like and subscribe button. You can press those buttons if you like, or just check out the link in the description. I'm having a hard time figuring out the vibration resonance feature. Uh, so I'll just quickly read it off to you and you can make sense of it if you can. If not, I'm sure there's plenty of dedicated videos on this topic alone already. So what it says here in the changelog is that blocks of amethyst have a new behavior when placed adjacent to skulk sensors. So if the skulk sensor receives a vibration, the block of amethyst will re-emit its frequency at a separate vibration at its location. Uh, this behavior is called vibration resonance and allows players to move vibration frequencies along long distances without having to recreate the vibration naturally. Now, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I'm going to do a little bit more research. This may show up in a video of its own coming to the channel at some point this year, hopefully. Uh, to avoid staying on that topic too long, we're going to go ahead and get into the armor trims. There are now some more armor trims here. This is the Wayfinder armor trim. It's a smithing template that you can get from Trail Runes, which we'll go over here in a little bit. We're just going to put it on some diamond armor, and we're going to put some redstone on it. So, as you can see, this is a brand new armor trim, which I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I can see why some people might like it. Well, let's, let's go ahead and go over all of them. So that was the Wayfinder. Here is Razor. This one is Shaper. This one is Host. And this one is titled Silence, which is actually found in the Ancient City. As you can tell, I think this one is modeled after the Warden. So there's also some really cool new sign features that we've been waiting on for a while. Uh, this has been long anticipated for... I believe one of my admins said 10 years uh, since signs have been added into the game. Uh, and this is editing signs after they're placed in the world. So all you gotta do is look at it and right click. And I can do hi. And then you can do like and subscribe. Maybe not. Maybe you can't do like and subscribe. But you can like and subscribe. Now, this isn't just the only sign-related feature here. Uh, there are some other things here. So now, both sides of the sign can have separate text and colors. So what I want to show you here is if you take the like and subscribe sign and you place it down, there's two different sides. Well, if you click on this side, you can do subscribe and like. Okay, does that change the other side? No, because it, it's completely different. You can do this with colors as well. So if I just grab some dye, let's grab blue dye and green dye. If you're colorblind, you won't be able to see the difference probably. But as you can see, completely different. And I'm willing to bet if you glow one side, you might not be able to glow the other side. So as you can see, this one's not glowed, this one is. Now signs can also be waxed with honeycomb to prevent it from being changed. So if I go to get some honeycomb, let's, uh, let's honeycomb this side. So as you can see, I cannot do anything with it. It makes them do honey sound. So it says, hey, you can't do that. On this side, however, I also can't. So it works on both sides. The entire sign is wax. Okay, so if you do signs in uh, your SMP, for example, which you can play my SMP by joining the Discord link in the description, 
Uh, if there's like a click sign that gives you commands and stuff, it can only be used if uh, it's waxed. So make sure to wax all of your signs if you use click signs at all. One of the common thoughts was, uh, where's the sniffer eggs? You know, we were kind of promised that. Well, they are finally here if you do here, as you can see. These are naturally occurring. Let's see how big they are. I haven't seen these yet. Oh my gosh. So this is the biggest egg we have in Minecraft thus far, I believe. Uh, since this is the way the sniffer egg looks, I'm wondering if we'll ever get an update to the ender dragon egg, possibly. And you can't break it by jumping on it like turtle eggs. Okay, so you spawn in two sniffers, right? And then you just need to feed them the seeds and they will breed. Well, maybe they will. Hey, maybe, maybe. There we go. Okay. And as you can see, I have a sniffer egg. Now, when you place the sniffer egg, you need to place it on moss or any other block. However, I would recommend moss because it only takes 10 minutes. Now, I'm not going to have time to show you guys the entire growth stage of a, of a sniffer. However, we're going to place one here and if it changes at all and there's a cracking animation or anything, we'll see it. However, we got to go over all the rest of these changes really fast. So now the sniffer can occasionally sniff up the pitcher pod item. Now, if you've never seen the pitcher pod like me, uh, this is the pitcher pod item. Now, I'm assuming this can be used to farm a pitcher crop, which I have seen. So, and yeah. Okay, so there's a pitcher pod. We're going to go over how it looks right now. So let's go ahead and get some bone meal. Yeah, that is a pitcher pod right there. A whole new plant dedicated to uh, the sniffer. And it looks like it's a too high plant that grows out of the ground. So that's interesting. It has five growth stages. And once fully grown, the pitcher crop can be harvested, yielding a two block tall pitcher plant, according to the change log. Okay, so the pitcher pod, right? Let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look here. So it looks actually really nice. And there is two different types of pitcher pods. There's the one that grows up out of the ground and then there's this one that you harvest. I've got to say, I'm a fan of this. It's, it's a really cool looking flower. I could see this being used in like, uh, like uh, futuristic builds even, like uh, sci-fi type of stuff. This is a really nice plant. Really excited to see it. Again, I'm a little bit disappointed it doesn't put out any block light levels, similar to the torch flower. I know it wasn't promised to have any functionality, but you know, with a name like torch flower, you would think it would have it. And because they both look like they glow, it's disappointing that they don't even put out a block light level of one. I don't have any friends online to check this with me, but it has been said that they've combined the step sounds to uh, be a little bit different here. So the topmost blocks you're walking on is played as normal, but there's now a sound that plays underneath every block that's played at a lower volume and pitch. So when you're when you're in a house, let's say, and there's somebody walking above you, so let's say I'm walking over here, my friend who's down here will be able to hear the steps up there and it'll sound different. Which will be actually really interesting to see if this affects mini games at all. Or for example, I've been playing Minecraft blindfolded uh, a little bit recently. I wonder if this would actually help me at all. Uh, the different sounds will probably be useful in that aspect. I've saved it for a little bit now. I think it's time we get into it. I think it's finally time we go say hello to the archaeology stuff here. So, if I do a slash locate, oh, 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 hey, hey, it does have different block states, so the, the egg is hatching. Okay, here we go. So this is what a trail of ruins looks like. Uh, there's also a couple of other blocks around here that we'll go over in a minute. But let's just go ahead and get our brush out, and let's kind of just dig around here. There it is. This is what I was looking for. This is suspicious gravel. It's just like suspicious sand, but it's gravel. Now, I'm going to go ahead and look around here because there should be a chest somewhere down here. 
Aha, uh -huh, I found it. Okay, so there isn't actually chests in here. I was, I was wrong. I completely misread the changelog. It's found in the suspicious sand. So this is one reason of many to actually dig at the suspicious sand sites. There is now 16 new pottery shards. Um, we're going to kind of briefly go over all of them. Uh, there might be images on screen depending on how much time I have. But as you can see, there's a lot here. So... Uh, to start us off, there is five archaeology sites, desert wells, desert temples, cold ocean ruins, warm ocean ruins, and trail ruins. The warm ocean ruins is where you'll find the sniffer egg and suspicious sand. So if you're trying to get your sniffer farm started, you need to get at least two of those eggs. Anyway, back to the pottery. I, I completely got sidetracked there. Uh, so pottery, right? So, that means we have 20 in total here. We're going to go ahead and go over all of them, including the old ones. So, this one's the angler. I'm assuming it's a man fishing of some type. Archer, which is, I think, one that we already had. Arms up. I think we also have that one. Blade. I think that one's new. Brewer. Burn. Danger. Explorer. Friend. Heart. Heartbreak. Howl. Miner. Mourner, Plenty, Prize, Sheaf, Shelter, Skull, which I think we already had, and Snort. Now, it looks like Snort here. I, I'm, I don't have the imagery up on screen for me, but if it's on there for you, it might look like a sniffer. That's just my guess. There's a couple of extra changes here. Uh, Data Pack version 13 is now the version of choice. Uh, they've removed the one, update 1.20 feature flag and built-in data pack because it's no longer experimental. This is the snapshots for it. They've also done a whole slew of other changes and updates, but I just quickly want to appreciate the Mojang team here. How many bug fixes do we have? There are 34 bug fixes in this snapshot. So if you want to pick up the snapshot and try it yourself, it should be fairly polished, hopefully. I uh, definitely check it out though. There's a lot of features here that I think are going to change some aspects of the game, especially in the redstone community. I mean, here you have things that can detect when you only place a block and times when you only break a block. This can be used for mini games. This can be used for secret entrances. I mean, the possibilities truly are near endless with some of these changes. So I definitely look forward to seeing how people use some of this stuff in the future, myself included. Anyway, that's all I have time for today. Be on the lookout for some more videos this week. Uh, I, I think I might make a brief video. You guys get sneak peek here if you made it to the end about Minecraft on Chromebook. And I believe there's one more change that I kind of wanted to cover in more detail that I didn't get to cover today. Uh, that one's a secret. Plus, there's a video about war crimes in Minecraft coming soon. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to join the Discord, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!